everything, 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 voicey, everything, 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 voicey. Like it, watch it, leave a comment. Like it, watch it, leave a comment. Subscribe, share with your friends. Turn on your post notifications. Follow us and get noisy. Subscribe to everything voicey, everything voicey. Popping EV Gang, it's your boy Vontae Picasso. It's your girl Ash the Singer. She got braces. I mean, I ain't know if they can see him. I ain't know if they can see him. Good, I hope they can. I ain't now saying now. Well, guys, today, um, what's today's day? Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, it is. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. It's the jaw for me, Pooh. Stop it. It's going <laughs> to be worse now. It's going to be worse now. It's the mandible <laughs> for me, dog. I can't stand. <laughs> All right, look, uh, so check this out. Today, we ain't going to be in y'all here too long. Um, We're going to talk to y'all about you know what I'm saying? Ways to, you know, take uh, opportunities and connections and networks from Voicey and transition it off. So we're going to talk from the perspective of an artist and a songwriter. Both of these going to incorporate a producer. So as a producer, you benefit from both conversations, right? So um, which one you want to hit? Um, the first one. What, songwriter? Yeah. Okay, cool. Go ahead. So, so Ashley going to talk to y'all as a songwriter. Okay, so wait a minute. You mean as far as like writing song, like the importance of writing songs, mm -hmm. like for and uh, opportunities as a songwriter being on Voicey. Okay, what are some of the opportunities that you could get outside of Voicey? But you know, what I'm saying from using Voicey, but taking mm -hmm. it out. Okay, so there's so many opportunities as it comes. So let's say that you weren't the strongest singer, but you were a great songwriter. Um, I don't feel like that's excuse me anything to be like upset about or, or discouraged. feel discouraged about because if you're a songwriter and if you can hold a note enough to be able to reference the track, you're golden. All you have to do is pretty much have those. Um, I mean, if anything, for, for songwriting, as, all, as long as you're making sure that you are within the times, not saying that it's not that it's bad to, to go 90s or something like that, but if you're within the sound that is um, prevalent to today, like what you hear on the radio and things like that, it's so easy to shop stuff like that. So um, if you have, you know, that kind of criteria or if you're able to work with maybe another writer, I love working with other writers because, you know, meshing together with other writers always, um, you know, develops your writing skills. But at the same time, it's so easy to be able to shop your writing, especially with something like voicey. Um, because voicey is a lot simple. It's a sample technically because it's only a minute, possibly some, some voices, some beats are only up there for maybe 30 seconds or 45 seconds. Yeah, like I think. 49. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. So a lot of them aren't a minute, but, um, you know how like back in the day when we wanted to send a sample of, you know, a, um, or we wanted to send a reference track, it was pretty much the whole track. You know, you, you got a lot, this kind of, um, thing as far as voicey. Um, I don't have to send all my business. You know what I'm saying? I send you a little bit. If you like it, then we can go off, off mm -hmm. from there. So, you know, it's pretty much uh, good to... There, there's so many things you can do in regards to maybe getting a package together of your voices. Even if you, you know, don't use the video footage part of it and you just use, um, you know, the audio from it and you want to send it maybe to a label or if you want to maybe play it on one of those apps in which people are only using for listening, like maybe Clubhouse mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, or if you want to go the route of, you know, maybe having somebody else sing it or making a video for it, whatever you can do to pretty much promote your songwriting. Songwriting is probably, I don't want to say number one because I, I can't back this up with facts, but I know it's up there in the top three of the thing of the biggest ways you can make money in the industry. So, um, I don't know. I just think that, you know, using voicey, voicey is perfect to be able to get out like snippets of, you know, 
your talent, mm -hmm. what you can do as far as, you know, songwriting goes. Mm -hmm. And taking those, some of those voices that you wrote that you know could be hits, get in touch with them producers. Like, if you know you're not an artist, it's going to be easier, realistically, as a songwriter to work with a producer because now y'all can do split sheets and y'all ain't got to worry about you buying the beat and getting, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, looking at... Oh, it wants to be this ball. How exclusive is it? Because the exclusive price is way higher than, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That ain't at least. At least, at least, because at least be, I can still, you know, I can sell that still. You got your little song, but I can still sell this thing. Yeah. Exclusive rights to beats, is ex is, beats are expensive. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're a songwriter and you link with a producer and they love that song, you're not paying for that beat. Just like they're not paying you for your lyrics because your lyrics are just as important as that beat. So y'all do a split sheet. And then when y'all shop it, once it's picked up, then y'all look at y'all percentages. But ain't nobody paying nobody for nothing because we're working together to shop it. That's the thing about being a songwriter. All that shit's all voicey. You made it on voicey, but now you all voicey with it. I've been doing that with a lot of people lately. That's really what it is. Like me, we were just talking about all this writing we got going on. Like, I love it. Like, I've been basking voicey in this songwriting. Voicey is a beautiful reference, mm -hmm. a place to reference your... Your, your creativity and your art and things mm -hmm. like that. But as far as split sheets, like you want to explain that? For so that a split them. sheet is basically a document that, that uh, ensures everybody gets their percentages. Like a, if you got an artist, a producer, and a songwriter, you know, looking at what percentage is going to be music, what percentage is going to be... <laughs> Lyric, what percentage is going, you know what I'm saying, going to be the art. I'm going to be honest, the artist is going to get the smallest bit because realistically you ain't doing nothing but using your voice. I ain't trying to say that's a thing, like a problem. But I'm just saying, you That's do... That's why I do multiple things, so uh -huh. I don't get the smallest. I write it, uh -huh. I arrange it, like, I'm getting all them coins. <laughs> the you want to try to be get, is... And I get producer credit sometimes, because a lot of times I might hear some instrumentals, and I'll say, you know, I'll like, ooh, I need a little flute right here, like, uh -huh. doo -doo 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 -doo, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I hear, I say put that right there. That's producer credit. I always get my production credits. You can't uh -huh. name a track that I've been on except for when I featured on it. Now, if it's a track that I wrote, or I was like, uh, like it was my song, nine times out of 10, I got some production credit. Like whether it was like a bass line, whether it was like a, a 808 pattern, whether it was a snare pattern, hi-hats, it don't matter. I added something, production, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So y'all better think about that. Or if you in the room with somebody and they sing and they melody and you hear a word or two and you be like, oh, you should say that, that sounds good. You got some writing credits, you better know that. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to being a songwriter, bro, the songwriting wave, you get that chunk. You and the producer, y'all get the biggest chunks. Then you gotta look at your publishing, you gotta look at the labels, you gotta, so that's when niggas start losing. But when you're talking that, that production and that actual writing, that's where the coin's at. And all that happens off the app. Uh, in Clubhouse, they have placement rooms. Songwriters, go to Clubhouse, get in some of them placement rooms, play your voicey. They only let you pay 45 seconds to a minute anyways, and they stop you and start talking to you and DM you. And before you even got the beat fully bought, you could play that shit. Once you hear niggas want it, now you go to the producer like, all right, I got somebody to want this. Mm -hmm. That producer not finna charge you. Y'all finna do a split sheet. Yeah. Because it's sold. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Now we're going to talk about as an artist. Now as an artist, it's not going to be that easy. Yeah. It just ain't going to be that easy because now you're... You mean solely as an artist. Solely as an artist. Else, you're not... So, artist. as an artist, the difference is when you want to put something out that's under your name and you're trying to monetize, producers are going to charge you for the beat. That's just pretty much how it goes. I mean, the songwriting piece of all that, that's out the window. If we're talking about solely, all you're trying to do is put this out as an artist. Nine times out of ten, you paying for the beat. Now, if you want that beat exclusively... Hit up my man Ben Blades. He'll tell you what them exclusive exclusive beat numbers go for. Yeah, well, you're every, working on a project right now. We ain't uh -huh. got to, you know, throw, but but just get him a, a, a rough understanding of what we talk when we say exclusive beats. Oh, as far as price? Man, yeah. Oh, between 500 and and dollars 500 if they're nice. Um, $1,000 if they're, if they got some names under their belt. Uh, and more if they're in the industry. And they taxing, and they yeah. want, and they want it all. <laughs> like it ain't no piece. They want the whole thing. Yeah. But the beauty of it is, you can still, if you're networking yourself properly, and you out there, and you using getting promo in, and you you handling your business right, like you, it's not a loss. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah, because exclusive means that I have the rights to this only, meaning that Vontae is not allowed to get a song and do a song to the same beat that I'm using because it's exclusively to me. And then not only that, but we then go back and negotiate the split sheets once the song takes off. Mm -hmm. If I happen to get real big off of it, if you know it happens to go viral, I get billions of views or something like that, then we revisit to see, okay, we done made some good money. What what can we, you know what I'm saying, tweak to make sure the producer's taken care of and things like that so that they can expand just like every everybody wants to. Exclusive rights be a, a tricky game though sometimes because like you gotta think about it. When they say you'll beat exclusively, you can now do with that beat whatever you choose. Like, literally, that's yours. Like, you ain't make it, but you own it. Like, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. exclusively, that is you. So, when it comes to the still talking and percentages, that's when the producer put themselves in, like, a tight spot. Because now they literally negotiating with you, and you could really be a whole dick about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the thing about owning your stuff exclusively, you know? But... And those are still opportunities. Uh, taking your voicey, turn it to a full song. Voicey supports you. Yeah, you know I've done. Saying? I've done. I'm actually doing that on my album now. I let my producer hear some of the songs that, so like three, only three of my like favorite favorite songs that I've written on Voicey, and he's just like, these are such money makers. There's no way we can't do these. So mind you, that means that a producer would have to remake the beat, like as in something totally different from what the producer did, or maybe just the same rhythm or same key. Most stuff of like the that. same BPM and the same key. Yeah, to make sure that I'm still able to, you know, do it on this particular, um, you know, do the same song with the same arrangement mm -hmm. on the same beat. Um, so there are a couple songs that I will be redoing that will be on my up and coming album. Mine so, too, just in yeah. case, you know what I'm saying. Uh, land of the Bottom. It's going to be on my project. Came from the land of the bottom. Mine. Mm -hmm. Now, one song that don't... Oh, I like that song. One song that don't go with what I got on my album is um, The Hard Way. Yeah. But but I, it's like, you know, everybody been telling me since the very beginning, mm -hmm. you have to record that. Find out the hard way. And I told Logan, I said, well, you know the AOs aren't going to be in there. <laughs> because those were mine. But at the same time, I'm gonna, I, I, I think it's going to be really beautiful. You can have but no, I don't even think I would sound right saying it. Like honestly, <laughs> that was like y'all thing. <laughs> um, so like that one, um, the uh, wedding song was oh, definitely, yeah. and I, that's sad because I really would like you know DJ Unlock's beat, but I mean I'm already it's in an exclusive with this. project. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's already an exclusive project that I'm in. So you know, um, and then uh, the other song, the one of the newer songs that I did, "Can't Believe Mad at Me," you know, what? oh the uh, you can't change a name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that thing. So yeah. Yeah, three good songs off of there. Uh, in addition to some new songs that I've I've done. So, um, you guys, I definitely suggest that you take. Voicey is such a good um, tool. Tool, but it is it it is definitely a great foundation. Mm -hmm. That's that's the word I'm looking for. It's a great foundation, meaning that don't just stay here. Like yes, make your voices. Keep yourself, you know, keep developing, keep making voices and everything. But when you get to a point where you got to take a step back and say, you know what, I'm about to turn these voices into this. Sound, yeah. or I'm about to use this because, mind you, all this time is what has been helping me to develop, you know, my writing skills to get sharper and faster, things like that. And she, she losing it. Sorry. No, <laughs> it's my little drink. But yeah, so it's like, you know, um, it's a foundation. It's a place for you to build. It's mm -hmm. not really for you to just stay there. You know, it's not for you to just stay there doing voices. It's really a good place for you to build. Everybody's not going to get signed from doing a voicey. Okay. Everybody's not. I mean, it would be a boring world if we all were, you know. But at the same time, there are going to be some heavy hitters, some go getters on there that's going to take the opportunity, which is voicey, and turn it into an opportunity for themselves outside of Boise. You know, there's there's going to be people that's going to say, hey, you know what? I really can do this writing shit. Mm -hmm. I'm about to try to do this outside and see what I can do. Right. You know, I really can do this singing shit. I really can do this hook shit. I really can rap a little bit. You, you know, know what? what I'm saying? But what people don't get it the whole time with this whole voice, with this whole, with, with how all this voicey shit operate, if you really think about it, some of you niggas is lucky. Because y'all just start in music and you get to basically start with a fucking studio. Yeah. Do you understand what it was like for people like us, bro? When we first started, I'm I'm fucking rapping out loud in front of people trying to get there. I'm doing talent shows. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? My first recording was on a 
computer with a you remember the desk desk mics like the little stick thing and it yeah. flat, that yeah. was my first mic with a sock yeah. on it bro wow. like at walmart that shit was ten dollars wow. and i've recorded on uh the free fruity loops that i downloaded off line wire oh. Mm, I downloaded off Lime Wire. I used to burn off. CDs off of Lime Wire. And I bought blank CDs, and my first song I ever did, I burnt like 20 copies on a CD and passed it out in high school. Wow. And nobody fucking told me how they felt about it. it was, at this point, I swear it was probably, it, oh, it probably was trash. Oh my God. That's probably was crazy. Trash. But like, that's what I'm saying. Y'all literally get. You should you should totally. Do you have access to any of that? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. You should totally do a, you know, a little. I, I don't know if I, bro, to be real with y'all, I couldn't find one of them CDs if I had to. I was doing it with this uh guy named Lawan. He worked at Arby's with me. <laughs> we worked at Arby's together and this he would be at my house Arby's. all the time. He could make beats and shit. So that's how I started, man. And that was in the 10th grade. I was in the 10th grade, I want to say. So y'all don't even get it, bro. Like, as an artist, your foundation of how you start and how you create. And I didn't get to start singing melodies on hooks with, with tuned Practice, vocals. Yeah. Like, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't getting none of that. I just went in there and had to find out, nigga, that is flat. Like, now, don't get me wrong. I don't like editing my own vocals. I don't think I've ever been good at it. I've never been very confident in it. A lot of times people thought that I couldn't do background vocals, but it's not that I can't do background vocals. I can't, you'll see on my album I can do background vocals, bitch. Oh, sorry. That was for, <laughs> that was for you know yes. who. But anyway, uh, the, the thing is, I couldn't... I, I'm not the editor. I'm not the type to edit my vocals. Mind you, I know what I want it to sound like, but after a while, my ear goes dead. It's Nigga. like it's like okay, Did I tell I you especially because I'm a perfectionist, so I will listen to listen to stuff a hundred times, and that's really not good. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? And that don't mean you don't got a good ear. That just mean that you drowning yourself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So at the same time, like in the studio, I I, I love being in the studio so much because I'm like, nope, take me back right there, take me down right here, take bring me up here. You know what I'm saying? Thicken this vocal. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I, I can pretty much say what I want in there and it gets done and it sounds absolutely beautiful. Everything is meshed beautifully, especially if you're dealing with a great engineer. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I be trying to do little backgrounds on voice or whatever. But at the same time, if I am left to edit it, edit the vocals, it probably ain't going to be as good as, as it should be. And that make people think that you you know, probably are incapable of doing that. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm capable of. And when I drop this album, niggas is going to be drooling. That's it, fire. I listen to what? Three? Two, two or three tracks? Two. Mm. Me and Manny got to get the show. Yeah. That's your crazy. I had to share it with my guys first. And actually, surprisingly, you did voc background vocals on uh, that loving you. And it's easy, yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think that I only did one box. It don't matter. That shit was so clean. Yeah, I did one box for that. That was a great that. mix. Mm -hmm. I can't even fake out. That was a... Uh... Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to go so, uh, so dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, y'all... We ain't gonna talk y'all head off. Just remember, man, take these opportunities on Voicey and swing them off. If you're a writer, link up with these producers, discuss split sheets, understand what it means to get your music copywritten and registered. Because I ain't saying somebody gonna dick you, but you know, don't Just fuck around and write to one of these producers. Get your ass cap together. And send them that shit, and then you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you never get it back. And you hear that shit on the radio, that is yeah. legal. <laughs> Familiarize yourself with split sheets, get, get signed up for ass cap. Pay for Distro mm -hmm. Kid to make sure that I mean I use Distro Distro Kid, but Kid. at the same time you can look up other you know sources to be able to distribute your music, mm -hmm. um, so that that way you know you can just upload your music to one site and it distributes it to everything, everything. you know. And every year when you see uh, you know celebrities posting their plays on Spotify, you can do the same thing. Yeah, you know I ain't even want like to the share same. mine. I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't even promote. I didn't like look. That. I know I'm, I, I never look. I really don't never. I look. looked and I was a little like, damn, Vontae, your voice has got more streams than this. Because like, I took all my music down. I have maybe like two songs up still for now uh, um so and i know people are streaming those songs they tell me on my youtube all the time okay. so i just didn't i don't know it's only one song hey, you know what i ain't checked my one thing i will tell y'all this is funny on tunecore i never cleared my account out but i switched to distro kids so, i mean i still got my login like i need to go clear you my better shit go out. check and see it might be 40 i checked distro kid the other day it was 70 dollars sitting there and that's what like, i'm saying i did i came up on my year on distro kid and i've never cleared that account out so i know it got about 60 dollars in. okay go ahead you hear me i'll say i'll say hey that sound like a Listen, seafood boy i'm telling you <laughs> okay Listen, I need to check. I, I still ain't deposit the money. I mean, drop what you call it? Withdraw it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still Nah, ain't. one of them shits is making you do like yo, 
I nine and all that shit. I'm like, bro. Like, I think this show kid had me ask for that. I think they asked me for that. I think they did ask me for that. Y'all asking for a lot. Niggas just ask for my mm-hmm. account number. That's Give me right. my okay, money. Listen. Yeah, hey, hey, now. But hell yeah, y'all. So take advantage of these opportunities. Remember, oh, a piece of insight that I had a conversation with a publisher the other day. They said as a producer, the smartest route for um the companies is BMI. As a songwriter, is ASCAP. As an artist, it that ass is what they told me. It really doesn't matter. But if you're a producer, BMI benefits the producer way more. That's what was explained to me. And ASCAP benefits the songwriter a thousand times more. I've always had ASCAP, but at the same time, um, I've always had a manager as well. So my managers have always, you know, uh, kept all that asset. stuff. Yeah, yeah so okay. I kind of just got that. But with that being said, y'all, keep your head up. Hey, it's Vontae Picasso, Vontae man. It's Fashion Singapore. Peace. Hold on, let me see if I can do it again. I can't. I give up. Okay. How I do it? It's an E and but it's like, a V. How I do this one? Like, how do y'all do that? That shit hurt. I ain't gonna lie to you. That hurt. It, that, don't that don't hurt. Sense. That don't hurt. It don't it's hurt. It's not like you doing a But split. do it hurt? But it did. It doesn't. How do you keep this here without this one to go back here? Well, my fingers are obedient. I don't know what yours are doing. They probably are headed. It's okay. all good. We ain't gonna even worry about it. But uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell make sure y'all stay tapped in and tell us in the comments some shit that y'all want to see yeah feel me also stay tuned because right after this we're going to be reacting to the feature page merry <laughs> christmas bitches <laughs> everything 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 voicey everything 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 voicey like it watch it leave a comment like it watch it leave a Subscribe, share with your friends Turn on your post notifications Follow us and get noisy Subscribe to everything voicey Everything voicey